Good morning students. Welcome for the online class. Grade 3, Subject Science, Term 1 and Unit 1. Our first chapter is My Body. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about how we should keep our body clean and neat and protect us from germs. So, our first topic is Cleanliness. Can you repeat the word? Yeah, it's correct. Do you know the meaning of cleanliness? It means keeping our body neat and clean. How we can keep our body clean? For that, first we have to know about germs. Can you ever come across the word germs? No? Okay then, I'll explain. Listen carefully. Germs are microorganisms that affects our body and cause diseases. Do you know what are microorganisms? Is an organism that is too small. We cannot see them by our naked eye. It can be seen through only microscope. Okay? Students, do you have any idea where are microorganisms found? Mm -hmm. Microorganisms are found in all places. What will happen if we do not maintain cleanliness? If we do not maintain cleanliness, the germs will infect us and cause many diseases to us. For maintaining cleanliness, first it's important to know about hand washing, using toilets and bathing. First, we can see about hand washing. I knew you all know about hand washing. Be sure you must wash your hands before touching your foot and other parts of your body. I am here to explain you the steps of hand washing. First, wet your hands with water. Then, apply enough soap. Rub the palms. Rub the back of each hand together. Rub both hands holding all finger. Rub the back of finger. Rub the tip of fingers. Rub the thumbs and ends of wrist. Rub both hands properly with enough water. After washing our hand, now can we see the benefits of hand washing? First, it kills or removes germs. Then, it lowers the risk of diarrhea. It prevents us from eye infection. Then, at last, it reduces the risk of respiratory infection. Next, we have to know how to use our toilets. In the world, many people are not using the toilets. They are forced to do open defecation. Do you know what is meant by defecation? It means the discharge of feces from the body. Do you have the doubt that open defecation will cause diseases? The answer was yes. It spreads diseases such as cholera and diarrhea. Children are also affected by all these diseases. They get intestinal worms, causes anemia. You know what is meant by intestinal worms? The worms which lives inside your intestine and it causes diseases. Okay? Then you know what is meant by anemia? Anemia is a condition where the blood count of red blood cells were very low. So the condition is called anemia. So it is very necessary to use toilets. 
Why is it important to have toilets? Yes, it's very important to have toilets because it prevents diseases, offers privacy, is convenient and it is safe. Can we wash our hand after using toilet? Okay. Okay. This will le help us to lead a healthy life. Next we can learn about bathing. Do you bath daily? Yes. Very good. Can we see why do we take bath daily? We are taking bath daily because bathing cleanses the body. Why is it important to take bath daily? Yeah, it's very important because it removes dirt and odor. Why do we use soap to clean our body? We use soap because it protects oneself from infection and improves blood circulation. There are many safety measures for children to be followed in bathroom. The first step was they should not play with water or run in bathroom because they may fall down and they ca and it cause injury the second step was do not touch sharp objects like blade razors scissors kept in bathroom next you should use hot water only supervision of adult do not leave soap bar on floor do not leave bathroom floor wet because you may fall down do not touch electric switches with wet hands can we do some activities okay take your activity note write unit 1 the first activity is trace your hand in a white sheet using pencil draw the picture of the small germs in the hand color the germs the second activity is you have to write yes or no first question do germs make people sick second question can you see germs the next activity is you have to answer for the question the first question is where are the germs found you have to write the answer the second question is what can I do to avoid the spread of germs listen to the video carefully and answer all these questions write neatly in your activity note 